This is Bob Myers from the Historical Society of Michigan with a Michigan History Moment. Father Gabriel Richard served the city of Detroit as a missionary, educator, and civic leader during the early 19th century. Born in southwestern France in 1767 and ordained a priest in 1791, he traveled to the United States in 1792. The church assigned him to French settlements east of the Mississippi. He arrived in Detroit in 1798. His selection as pastor of St. Anne Parish four years later marked the start of a 34-year career of service and sacrifice for the people of the city and the surrounding area. The Great Fire of 1805, one of Richard's first challenges. The fire destroyed the city, leaving only one stone fort and the brick chimneys of wooden houses still standing. Richard gathered food, medicine, and supplies for those in need and helped rebuild the city. Development of the mind was almost as important to Richard as strengthening the spirit. He established multiple schools in the Detroit area, including schools for girls and students who were visually or hearing impaired. A school he started at Spring Hill Farm educated Native American and European American children together in the hopes of breaking down racial barriers. A spinning machine was brought from New York to help students learn industrial arts such as knitting, sewing, spinning, and weaving. After bringing a printing press to the area, he published Michigan's first newspaper, the Michigan Essay, or Impartial Observer, in 1809. He also created a school speller called the Child Spelling Book, or Michigan Instructor. In 1817, Richard and the Reverend John Monteith began a school that would eventually become the University of Michigan. Richard served as one of the school's first professors. In 1823, Richard was elected as territorial delegate to the United States Congress, presenting 16 petitions in his first two months of service. He worked to open Michigan to further settlement by supporting the development of the territorial road to link Detroit and Chicago. When a cholera epidemic hit Detroit in 1832, Richard spent his time ministering to the sick. His proximity to those suffering from the disease caused his own death by cholera a month before his 65th birthday. Richard is interred at St. Anne's Church in Detroit in the Father Gabriel Richard Chapel. This Michigan History Moment was brought to you by MichiganHistoryMagazine.org.